going to cause a big disruption with people that are in immigration proceedings. Uh, they don't feel like they can live here. Um, they'll have to find somewhere else where they can find peace. Well, a prayer vigil in downtown Pensacola tonight, protesting a bill aimed at curbing illegal immigration in Florida. WEAR's Yona Gavino joins us live in the studio tonight with the concerns coming from critics. Yona? Bob, supporters of the bill say it's designed to fight illegal immigration, but activists say it could keep undocumented pregnant women from getting health care and workers from getting jobs. Helpful for the community. The Florida legislature has passed a sweeping new immigration reform bill. A prayer vigil was held today with faith leaders, community members, and local activist Grace Resendez McCaffrey. We know that it's in the governor's hands right now, and since he hasn't signed it, signed it at this moment, perhaps there is time to um, have some type of uh, divine intervention to possibly come up with another better solution. We were asked not to show people's faces because of the fears many of them have. People that are on the asylum um, seeking track, of course, you know, uh, they don't necessarily have protective status uh, in all cases uh, until they get to a certain point in the court proceedings, which means that um, they're particularly vulnerable with this um, bill. SB 1718 would require hospitals to ask patients about their immigration status. The data collected would track how much the state spends treating undocumented immigrants. Pastor Luis Ramirez believes the bill could discourage families from visiting the doctor. It's concerned because um, you got children and you got family where they cannot afford to have a, a health care. And, um, and they're not going to be scared now, even if they feel they have an emergency, they, they're right now at this point, they, they, they don't know what to do. Another provision is that companies with 25 or more employees sign up for E-Verify, which would track a worker's immigration status to be approved for work. The bill would make certain driver's licenses issued by other states to undocumented immigrants invalid in Florida. Senator Doug Broxson supports the bill. Well, I voted for it. It was not my bill. The governor is very passionate about it. He said the tougher restrictions are aimed at protecting migrants. Our people are saying, let's make sure that people that come here are able to move into the system and be treated like Floridians. The people that are coming over primarily from over the Mexican border are being abused, and that's not right, and we, we want to put stop to it. Okay. A senator, would it be accurate for us to call you a supporter of the bill? Is that accurate? Absolutely. Senate Bill 1718 now heads over to the governor's desk for a final signature. If signed, it would go into effect July 1st. Live in the studio, Yona Gavino, WEAR News.